Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Disciples 2. Derek's party is doing okay, so we're gonna push forward. I could go directly into Spring Frost, although I don't have the movement points for it yet. Um, and aside from that, I'll probably just let everything else go. There's nothing I can really do if he does decide to attack this dwarf. And I don't think I need to build anything else. Not yet, anyway. So, for the moment, we will be going into Spring Frost. Okay, uh, we'll go into Spring Frost and we'll see what is there. See if we're capable of handling it. We might not be. I might have to run away. Ooh, yeah, this is a little bit tough. But we just might be able to do it. I think with... Yeah, I think with... Uh, the damage output that we're getting from Derek himself... We should be just able to do it. Of course, I'm a little worried about when this ghoul goes down. Because the zombie will be doing a lot of damage. In fact, we'll have him wait. Hopefully, Derek can kill the ghoul. And then we can get a free hit on the zombie. And our hill giant is almost dead, but he should level up here, maybe? Okay, perfect. So now we don't have to worry about him. I just have to get a little bit of HP healed up for my warrior. And then we should have our first of the runes that we need. Spring Frost guarded Orva's Rune of Potency, which was once used in magical practices to preserve the vigor of the clans. The rune is here. It was housed in what I believe was a shrine. Engineer, take it to the capital at once. Morok will be pleased. So we get the Potency Rune, and that is number one out of... I think three we're getting this time around. We might be getting a few extra, I'm not sure. Anywhere from 3 to 5. Can't quite remember. I could easily load up the briefing though, just to double check that. So what is our... Mana like? It's good enough, I'm gonna heal up a couple times. And now my warrior should be perfect. Well, not quite. But good enough to take on this guy. Yet yeah, he's gonna run away. So no worries there. I won't really be able to do that much damage though. At most I'll be taking out the guy in front. But that's okay, we get a little bit extra experience. And I might go for that troll next turn as well. Although I might look into researching a few more spells beforehand. And that does not help. And it does look like we'll be free to save this guy whenever we feel like it. I don't think he'll be attacked. And now I, we might be able to take out that troll. It's a bit risky still, but I'm gonna go for it. Might be a level 2 troll, it is. So he's doing 
a bit more damage. It f oh yeah, we're going to lose our warrior. But we can bring him back with a life potion. And w as long as we don't take any damage, we won't. And so it's only the warrior we have to worry about reviving now and healing. Although I might hold off on that until I can get back to my capital. That way I can heal him all at once and not have to worry about it after that. Because if I were to revive him and then have a spell cast on me, he'd just die again anyway. Alright, so we're going to cast Seafaring. So we can get out of here. Um, still take a couple turns to get back to the capital. So, I probably should just do it. There's nowhere else for me to go, really. Oh, wait a minute. He's just gonna come up of his own accord. King Morak, come quickly. We have returned and the news we bring is not favorable. My lord, the legions of the damned have returned to Nevendar. We came across your son south of here, lying dead amongst fire and burning rock. He had this rune clenched between his fingers. And we get another rune. Oh, my son, Gimnir. He lies lifeless. I wouldn't have permitted his undertaking this quest if, I, if I'd known. How did this horrible thing happen? That Gimnir has failed his mission. By the use of this rune, Betherzen should have been sealed forevermore in his mounted prison. Please scout the area. Find out what is afoot. I fear. Okay. So he came to us. Sweet, uh, but we do have a second rune as well, which is housed in the capital. And I, th no, I don't need a building. I'm going to save my money for healing. And then I think I'll just head towards the next rune, which is to the north. King Morak, we have news. We searched the countryside for those who witnessed the slaying of your Gibnir. It is most strange. What? What did you discover? We know that Gibnir did not seal the gate and Betherzin is loose upon the world once more. Gimnir did succeed in using the runes, and he did this despite the onslaught of not just Betherzen's legions, but also the undead minions of Mortis herself. Mortis? Why does she fight us still? Was she not satisfied with slaying King Sturmir ten years ago? The minions ignored our forces until the gate to Betherzen's dungeon was opened. The undead instead bent their efforts upon eradicating the legions. It was merely a battle between these two evil factions. And my poor Gimnir caught betwixt. But wait, if Gimnir did succeed in performing the runic ceremony, why then did Betherzin escape? I must ask the lore masters if something is amiss. Something is amiss. And uh, we should... Be cl yeah, we're close. So one more turn and we'll be back in the capital. And then we'll heal up our warrior and then just head to the next target, wherever that is. I actually wanted to take that out myself. That's alright, though. And we'll throw the rune in the capital because we don't need to hold on to it. Uh, well, there is a rune in Skymine. 
But you know what? We're close enough to this guy to just attack him. So I think I'll do that. He's got an even weaker party than the other one we faced. Although we still won't be able to do anything to him. Oh well. I can't wait until we have haste available to us. Then I'll be able to chase down these people afterwards. Can we chase him down anyway? Well, maybe if we cast Seafaring. Otherwise, no, probably not. Master Thug. I'll probably just pass him by. There's no real reason to fight him. Not if I can avoid it. Yeah, early on with the dwarves, uh, it's really best to just do the bare minimum of battling to level up your hero and then just skip over everything else. What? Look, the dead have arisen. It is sorcery, my lord. Sorcery. So the dead have arisen, I suppose. Somewhere up here. I can't actually see, though. I think we'll go explore in that uh, building. Probably undead in there as well. Um, Elaville. Well, let's find out. Ooh, a, an occultist. He summons units. So it's good to get him out of the way as quickly as possible. And in this situation, it's probably best to attack the occultist and get rid of the zombie. But I think I'll wait to see if Derek can hit instead. And then that way I can take out a cultist and hopefully take out the other one before he attacks again. And then I can just use my healing spell to heal up all the damage that I took there. not all that useful. I wonder what civilization made their home here. The buildings are ancient and of wondrous make. The heretics have destroyed the west wing of the hall with their revels, sire. And look, runic writings etched on the floor. We must find the runes before heathens discover their secrets. These scribblings are but misguided play, thank Wotan. Let us be on our way with haste. Our task is urgent. Wait, look, sire. We found this amongst the wreckage. A tome of fire. Completely useless to us. You dare to disturb our experiments, ignorant dwarves? Leave this place, or I shall invite all my friends from the graves yonder to join us. Yeah, that would be okay. Make it a party. And we'll just end our turn, and it looks like there's a magic shop up here as well. So I'll be going there to see if there's anything worthwhile. Of course, at this point, I've only got runestone, runestone mana, so probably nothing there worth purchasing. <laughs> okay, well... What possibility is to go back and attack this guy again, but he'll probably just run away. 
still it's worth going for. Just for that little bit of extra experience. I mean, it's pretty much free experience at this point. Since they're running away from me. Yeah, 23 experience for that. It's not a lot, but... It will add up over time. I will have to eventually take out the legions of the damned parties though. So that I can get the artifacts that they may have taken from certain dungeons. No, I won't be able to chase him down. He's too far away. So we'll just take out the cultist instead. And we can heal all that up with a spell as well. Welcome, dwarves. I've had many strange visitors lately. Th they came. They come to scavenge treasure in the wreckage left by the Great Wars. The interlo interlopers are everywhere these days. Beware. Take this as thanks for fighting the fiends. Visit my tower. Okay, will do. Even though you probably have nothing of use. We'll at least stop by. They've got plenty of gold after all. But I'm thinking it'll probably just be low level empire spells. Yeah, Strength. Oh, Ignis Mare as well. And Tormentio. So, nothing we can use. There's a single zombie over there. Might as well go take him out. For a little bit of experience. And we're getting there. It'd be nice to research something like Summit Rock just so I can uncover more of the map. But I don't have the income to support that. I should hire a few rod planters just to get some of this, these mana patches back. Because it would be nice to have that. And I do have the gold to be able to afford the rod planters. So I probably will do that. I'd like this treasure up here, and it looks like I can come in from the back. But only if I fight this guy. I'm not sure if that's really a good idea. Let's at least check the area out. Oh, he's got another bit of treasure behind him as well. So I will have to fight him if I want that. So we'll just suck it up and fight these guys. I think we'll attack this guy. Just to cut down the on the damage that will take. By a little bit. And then we just gotta hope that we can kill this guy before he gets another attack. And that looks like it's done it. And then I will hire at least one rod planter. A dwarf champion. And we'll put the Tenderfoot in his party. Not really a good combination, but I don't want to spend the money on another unit. So we'll end our turn and then grab that treasure.
then start saving up for some more spells. And we've got another spy in our army. Alright, day 44, this is where we will end the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.